Welcome back, guys, to Forever Stranded Lost Souls here with the Cobblenauts. In fact, we've got a Cobblenaut on with us, as per usual, system collapse right now. He has been very, very busy, very hard at work. In fact, the mob farm, a whole bunch of other stuff is, is because of system collapse. If you guys haven't seen what he's doing, uh, he's doing a lot of stuff. And and by the way, I've done a lot of stuff between episodes. Let me, let me just tell you guys that. I've been having a lot of fun. Just playing through a modded pack, of course, a mod pack. I haven't, I haven't done this stuff in a long time. You guys know that. And I've been having just so much fun playing a little bit of a different version of Minecraft. It's great. And in fact, today we're going to be doing something even completely different to what we've been doing up till now in the pack. But yes, as I say, System has had a lot of stuff going on. In fact, there's a whole bunch of stuff over there you want to probably check out if you haven't checked them out already. But let's talk about what I've done in between this episode and the one that we've just uh, we've just had. So this is the mob farm, and if you guys want to check inside, you guys can see. I, I'm, I'm not going to be able to explain how everything works, but basically, mobs get pushed here. They get killed by... Let's make sure we don't get stuck, because you can get stuck. We get killed by that thing. If I move a little bit more, I'm going to be stuck on there, and that's a real pain in the butt to get out of. Look at that. So you can see it live in action. And basically, that's what kills the mobs and gets the experience, and that's how we, we level up. So what has been happening, though, is I made that mob crusher, and that's the way we get our mob experience, which we were using that blaze farm, remember? I've hooked it up here, so we've now got that making ourselves a bit of mob essence. In fact, <laughs> a lot of mob essence. And that's just kind of stealing a few of the kills from this thing as well. It's not like we really, really need them. Any drops go there, any experience just gets pushed together. It's pretty much the same thing. All right, so this is it. We've got the enchantment applicator and we've also got the enchantment extractor. So all of the things that we need, for instance, say you wanted unbreaking three, we take these boots, we just say, hey, I want to put it off of this one. I just go pop those in there, uh, pop these in here, and bam, we've got ourselves. Oh wait, oh no, um, I took the wrong boots. Those were my good boots. <laughs> we'll do this here. That was that was a mistake. All right, there we go. So we should have the unbreaking three boots, for instance. And what I've noticed over here from this enchantment applicator is you can put some pretty silly, pretty silly enchantments on a lot of different things. Let's have a look for something with a weird enchantment. Let's go to, for instance, um, hmm, nothing too weird here. We'll go to maybe if we have like a oh, well, those these ones came because of a, a bugged out reason. I think because some people were at one stage in creative and then went back to survival. I think it apparently changes the loot tables. So do not think those are normal. Uh, okay, let's try find like a respiration or something weird like that. Okay. Sadly, we don't have anything cool. Nothing. There we go. Respiration one. Perfect. All right. So I'll show you how, how funny this is. So we put that in there. We put that in there. Got a respiration. Oh, we got the fire protection. Never mind. Because it takes the first one. We go there, get the respiration. And then we can put the respiration, for instance, on our legs. Because we've already got uh, got some cool stuff. We've got Currently, we've got Death Strider. I don't actually know if it makes a difference. Maybe someone knows. I'd, I'd love to actually know if it does. And then we'll put respiration on our legs. Because why the hell not? Let's just do that. So we've got those things. Pretty cool. We've got some pretty overpowered armor. It's not actually really overpowered, to be honest. I still take pretty solid hits. Specifically, if I've got that, I get a pretty good, uh, pretty good defense. But what I do have, though, is something that was gifted to me by... Uh, who actually... Oh, Chosen Architect gave it to me. The Chosen Architect didn't just give me one thing. He gave me two things. He gave me the Infernal... What is this? The Infernal Chalice, which is great. It is very cool. I'll show you how cool this thing is. Uh, but not only that, he also gave me a Leadstone Jetpack. Basically, your your tier one jetpack, I'd say. This is your, your beginner level jetpack. That means we can do this. Look at that. That is awesome. And why that is awesome is, of course, we can just get around. We can go around in places that are going to be very hard to get to. And today, it's going to be extra awesome because what we're going to be doing... Oh, snap. That was... Uh, hit the ground a little bit hard. Uh, today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a whole bunch of stuff that getting a, a higher perspective might actually be very useful for. So let's go around here. I'll show you what, how cool this little infernal chalice is. This is something you can get through opening those loot crates, just as a lucky, a lucky kind of drop, I guess. Very rare. It's, it appears not incredibly, but quite rare. And chosen had one, so he decided he'd give me, give me his second one. One cool thing is, I can jump in lava and not take any damage. You still have the annoying fire on you, but that's all right. That's not too bad. The other thing is, you can also pick lava up and put lava down. So if I go here, I go. I think shift. There we go. So that's now collecting. Oh, that's dropping lava. You can see there. And if I go shift, right click again, I can collect it again, which is so useful for a whole bunch of reasons. For instance, most importantly, the most important reason is filling up a whole bunch of drums with lava and stuff like that. I can just click everywhere, go into the lava. I mean, let me actually show you this. This is pretty cool. Going into the lava underneath it, we can gather so, so much lava, have all the energy we need, and then we can just, I guess, really do other stuff in the pack. Now, I hope lava breaks your full damage. Let's just do this. 
Yes, it does. Great. Look at that. It looks pretty interesting from down below. Something a little bit different. I thought it was kind of cool. So let's get out of here. And actually, I'm not too sure how quick this jetpack dies. Let's check it out. We're good. We're definitely good. But today, what we're doing is we're not doing anything along the technology lines, or at least not a lot along the technology lines. What we're doing today is we're going to be doing something a bit more in the creative lines. And it sounds kind of strange, and it, it really is. Uh, but we're going to take advantage of a little bit of a, a cheaty business. Is this a little... Hey, someone's put a little door frame. That's really lovely. So we're going to be doing a little bit of uh, sneaky stuff because, of course, we can't place water in the nether. That is not actually a thing we can do. Uh, but we, we, this is not really going to be getting us ahead in progression. This is just a thing that I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have been, have been wanting to see. I get asked this quite a, quite a lot. And I get told this quite a lot, which is, uh, Jancy, there is uh, chisel and bits or chisels and bits in the pack. So let's go over here. We go chisels. Uh, bizzles. Let's go chisels, not the bizzles. Bizzles, <laughs> chisels, chisels. There we go. So we want to do this. I think let's just do a diamond one because what the heck? We got so many diamonds. We'll do that. We'll make ourselves one of these chiseled bit bags. Bags. So we just need a bit over there. And I think all we'll really need to do is maybe that. I think these kind of come in handy, but that's all right. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and make ourselves pretty official. I mean. As the Cobblenauts, we've we've got our spot. We are we are experts in our field, at least everyone else besides me. But er experts nonetheless. And what what we do is uh, we do things pretty good. I don't know. I don't even know what else we can say to be honest. But we're going to be building a Cobblenauts logo here, so we can just slap it down. It looks official. I think around this area would actually be pretty cool. I was thinking of going large or small, and I feel like somewhere in the in between. So I'm going to probably go for something around four blocks wide, which it kind of hurts me a little bit because four blocks wide is an even number and, or two blocks wide sorry four blocks uh two blocks is uh, an even number and that really hurts me as a builder it's so much harder to get that for instance when we have a little carpet in somewhere but we're going to do it nonetheless and the way i'm going to be doing this is by getting some concrete i wonder if we actually have any concrete we don't uh so what we want to do is we want to get some vanilla concrete and this is going to be cool just in general because, I mean, it's it's applicable if we want to use this. If I, well, I don't know if anyone else will want to do what we're doing. But uh, if we want to use this design in the future, we could really just uh, just use it like that. And concrete, can we make concrete? So we can. So I don't even necessarily have to use the cheaty way. And we do have a, a fluid transposer. What I want to do is I want to get some blue concrete. I want to get some gray concrete, white concrete, black concrete, and also some red concrete. I've been, I've been testing some things out in a creative world. I think we will have this down pretty good. So I'll get going with that stuff. I'm sure many of you guys are aware of when vanilla blocks don't have a texture, or just in general, block blockless textures, textureless blocks. That's the way it is. I'd kind of try to simula simulate that over here just to make life a little bit easier, first of all, to see where block edges are. And not only that, just I thought it would look kind of cool. I used this primal void stone. I was just having a look through whatever we had in our storage system, to be completely honest. But we've gone ahead and we've made ourselves a diamond chisel, which has got, look at that, 771,000 blocks. We, we're we not going to really run out of this diamond chisel, I doubt. Uh, the other thing is we got this chiseled bit bag over here. And I decided I'd also add in some blue terracotta to this. And you'll, you guys will see why a bit further on in this build. But today we're going to take things a little bit differently. We're going to go ahead and uh, and build some build some stuff like this uh, in the nether. Oh, wait. What we need to do, we need to go shift and go blue concrete grid. Uh, now, if you guys aren't familiar, by the way, let me just quickly say, if you guys aren't familiar with uh, this particular mod, it's a, it's a fairly well-known mod, I, I would say. I mean, obviously, a lot of you guys are coming from from modded stuff that is uh that is great but uh a lot of people on the channel will be unaware of it and what it is is basically a, a mod where you can build whatever whatever you want whatever your heart desires you can put in this so i'm thinking i'll do a little bit if you haven't if by the way if you haven't seen the cobblenauts logo you you're gonna know it today uh but i'm gonna try and get myself kind of a hexagon but it's not exactly because it's meant to be a cube that is sort of pulled out to to one side. So kind of like you're looking at a, at a corner of a cube like that. You see that? Like picture it up like that. Probably probably exactly like that there, to be honest. That angle there. That's what we're trying to go for. And it's sort of a hexagon, but I don't think it actually quite does come out as one. But are we going to test out some things? I've played around with this a little bit in a creative world. And I'm interested to see how, how it'll turn out over here. Well, we're still getting those crazy mouse things. And that over there is kind of interesting already. This little piece over here. I don't know why this isn't connecting over there. Kind of strange, but that's cool. That's all right. We'll be all right with that. So we've got these in the middle here. We've got this over here. And we're going to be doing this around this side. This should be kind of simple, I guess. Just pulling this along here. 
Beautiful. I actually didn't realize that concrete has like this weird thing like that. That it must just, must just be the, the animated textures or something underneath. But the trick here is going to be, which I think is going to be kind of tough, is trying to get this line over here. Let's just try twos. If twos can make this, or at least get close, oh, this could get close. Uh, we can kind of just play around with the idea. I think that'll actually work. That'll that'll actually be. I mean, we'll have to see if if it changes out, we can change it a bit later. But I think that will actually work quite well for us. We'll do that there, and we'll fill in that gap there. Now, I'm aware that we can just copy and paste these over, but I feel like it'll be a lot easier for me to actually... Yeah, you know what? It'll be a lot easier for me to actually do this as we go. So we just did twos the whole way, which is kind of perfect, actually, considering. I think that works very well, and I think a lot of it is to do also with the fact that we're using uh, a 4 by 4 well, 2 by 2 grid. I think that I think that helps us. I'm not too sure. I'm not really super... Oh, you can just click those. Cool. Okay, well, I guess... That's what you get after you've been playing in a creative world. You get in the... Oh, did I just delete one? No, I wouldn't have. Uh, you get kind of in the in the habit of doing these things where you just mistakenly break blocks and stuff. Clicking, just trying to trying to get them out of the way. And by the way, placing with chisels and bits or a chisel... Yeah, chisels and bits is a pain in the butt in creative. You end up going so well and then just breaking, breaking pieces off. But I guess that's the good thing about us just moving straight over here. We don't have to worry about that because <laughs> uh, we, we should have this all covered. So let's do that there. We can't break a block. There we go. Beautiful. Let's check the shape. That is actually pretty good. Uh, everything I try to come up, by, by the way, I, I tried in creative to do one that was a 4x4, four four, and that was just way too large. But I think this will work quite well. This was what I, I had a hunch it would be good. I think this will be good. So what we're going to do now is this is where the terracotta will come in. So if you guys don't know the logo, I'll, uh, I'll try my best to, to try and get it to you. But obviously, if you don't know it, check it out. It's a pretty cool logo. A block. Yeah, I do have a bit. Okay, there we go. Did. Block of coal. We'll replace those. That's all right. So we can do this here like this. Now there's a little thing that I thought was a really cool feature about chisel and chisels and bits. And that is the fact that I can pick block through these as well. I thought that was really cool. I didn't, I don't know if that's something groundbreaking, but I honestly thought it was quite groundbreaking for myself. Knowing that mods kind of have to go through loopholes and stuff in, in the vanilla code just to get it to work. I thought that was a really cool little thing. I didn't, I didn't know if that was possible. But uh, it might be a very, very, very easy thing, and I'm just, uh, I'm just overly excited about it. But I thought that was cool building this thing. I think the only issue that I've got with the shape right now, uh, which we could, could see being a very frustrating thing, uh, well, two things. Thing one is potentially we may have some issues with this over here being a bit flat. It looks like it might be a bit narrow now that I'm looking at it. Uh, the other thing is getting a lot of detail in here. We've got basically, it's basically like the NASA logo, sort of like that, where we've got the stars in the background. We've got a uh, a little bit of a an, a ring around a, an invisible planet, basically. And then we've got a person falling through the air with uh, in the shape of a block, basically. I thought that was a kind of cool thing, like a Minecraft avatar, like the the square square head on that. I think that would be pretty cool just to, to get this thing to look look close enough to the logo. I know we're not going to get everything because the logo is a lot higher resolution, but I think we could get it pretty, pretty close to it. So let's get out some of these. Uh, I'm, I'm actually going somewhat all right here. Yeah, somewhat all right. Uh, what, we, what we're going to do, this will be, this I definitely won't be able to do all on, on the, uh, on camera. But basically what we've got, I'll just kind of lay it out so you guys can see my logic at least of how I'm going to be doing this. And it's definitely going to move around a lot. Uh, but basically, we've got this piece over here that loops around. Uh, we've got two, actually. Two little loops like this. So this is sort of like the uh, the NASA one. You see that? It goes around like that. And then we have another one that comes in from around here and just follows around. And I'm, I'm super messy right now. That's, of course, just going to be the case. But I think that will work very well. Now, the only thing I'm not too sure about is how I copy over a full multiple block thing, but I've got these guys on the server with me right now. Chosen Architect, System Collapse, and who knows, we might even have some other people on with us a bit later. Uh, they might be able to help me if that is the thing you can do. I think you can only do one block at a time, which kind of sucks because we'll have to do one, two, yeah, it'll end up being all of those blocks, all of those blocks. It's just the corner blocks that, uh, that don't really count for us. But I'm going to go ahead and get this thing a little bit closer to being finished. Who knows what we do with it? I think it's starting to look very, very good. If you can see that resemblance, look at it. It's going pretty awesomely. I think we've got it pretty, pretty, pretty close. The only struggle I've been having are these lines over here so far. Uh, the little man was surprisingly easy though. I think that was, that was what I was expecting actually to be pretty difficult to do with such a, a small amount of space, but I feel like we've probably got it pretty close. 
And by the way, if you guys uh, are wondering, we've now got Nash Crafter on with us and uh, Chosen Architect appears to have left as well. So we've still got System Collapse on as well, well by the way. Uh, and if you guys are, haven't caught up with all the series, there's a lot of stuff going on and uh, there's a lot of videos out there. So bear that in mind, guys. With this over here, though, we're going to have to put in some stars. There's stars on this thing. And the way I was planning on doing that, where's this? Uh, there it is. White luminous blocks and also some of these. So I actually tried to do a grid like this. Whoa. A grid like this with the white luminous blocks before and the green luminous box. So that's why I had them in there. But I had a little bit of a, a like, epiphany, I guess, on what we could do with those. And basically the white luminous blocks, I think, give off light. I'm pretty sure. But they've got this extra whiteness to them, which I think will be really cool. So the idea is because there's some stars that are further away, they're less, less bright, we can put these ones on the, the same level as this blue over here. Because I've actually bumped this up. Look at that. I've bumped it up a level, which I think looks pretty cool. I like it that way. And we'll just do a few stars around the place. Maybe one there, maybe another one there. And the stars that are slightly closer, which I think we'll use the white luminous block, which is really not much of a difference. Look at that. You can't really see too much of a difference, but they're a little bit, they look a little bit brighter. We'll do them like that over there. And as I say, this is not going to be accurate to the actual, uh, the actual one, but I know that it'll, it'll be close enough. In fact, one thing that I think would be kind of cool is just to get rid of that there and maybe, maybe just put in one of these up here like that. Yeah, that'll work quite well. So that's, I think, pretty good for this. I'm not going to be doing the cobble knots uh, across the front here. I think this is kind of, this is the logo. This gives you the, the idea of what we are doing. So let's get rid of this stuff here. We'll get rid of those, get rid of that, get rid of that. And uh, in fact, we don't even need that on us right now. So we'll just take these. And what we have to do, because sadly, there's no way IR system collapsed. There's no way that he's aware of, of how we can pick this whole big slab up as one piece. So really, we've got this over here, that over there. But we'll just do these big ones first. So we do that there. Um, do we just write 12 of the exact same piece? Are you kidding me? I think we did. We just made 12 of the exact same stuff. Now that is annoying. All right. So we'll go back into here, very quickly make these. So if we go positive, we can actually search us. In fact, no, we do it. don't click there. Then we can click it in here. We can go the positive molds or whatever, the positive things. Oh, this is a real pain in the butt. Actually, we can just do that, can we? Oh, okay, that's cool. So we can just keep using these ones, I think. I'm pretty sure to keep doing this. Can we just do one of those? No. What? How did, how did I just get that right? Positive... Maybe if I drop this and then try and do it. So I'll just do one of these in there like that. Yeah. Okay. So I guess I'm just going to have to keep doing that. There we go. Perfect. So we will have these. Don't worry. No problems. What we have to do, it appears, is do it this way. So if we drag these along here, along there, we'll just, we'll just do it one by one. So if we do that there like that, we should now have this piece over here. So I think if we replace this block... It just replaces it like that and explodes everywhere. That's all right. We don't really need these. That actually looks kind of cool with all these different levels. We've got that one. We'll do that one next. Then that one there. I don't know if you can actually overwrite these. That one there. And just for the sake of keeping it accurate, we'll do this one, that one, even though they're only really a few blocks down the sides. That one there and that one there. And then, of course, the last two being that one. Well, last three actually being that one. Oh, man. This is crazy. <laughs> It's actually such a crazy thing. Uh, I think I did that one. Now Now I might have messed up, but that's all right. There and there. Fantastic. We've got these. And I'll just get rid of those as well. I'll tell you what, we'll come back for them. So let's go downstairs. I think this will be a cool place to put it. Down around here. The sad thing is that we've got an even number, but I think we'll be able to just kind of plop it somewhere or plop it down in two places. We might just do like one over here. And one around there. We'll just do two. And if people want it, they've got the mold. They've got the things. They can just copy it over. I think it'll work quite well. And in fact, what we can even do is we can even just pick up the thing. But sadly, I don't have any space. So what I'll do is I'll put this around there. And then what I want to do is I want to do one more very cool, important thing for today's episode. Now you know who we are. I think this is fantastic. Look at that. The, the Cobblenauts logo in two different places. Uh, the problem was obviously the even numbers, but I think that's going to be good. I don't want to go spamming these around the base in case they get in people's way, but I thought two of them over here, maybe someone likes them, maybe someone can use them. I think they're a pretty cool thing to leave around there. So what we're going to do now is I've got another little task for today. I've got two more tasks. First one is I want to show you guys how to actually make obsidian because 
we we had a little bit of a cheaty way of doing it and i think you know what when this pack comes out which is very very shortly what the heck just hit us there uh when it comes out very very shortly uh you guys are going to be wanting to know these things and obviously uh you're not going to be able to know it i just had to check how how good my my backpack was there it seems like it's all right the cool thing is we don't really have to worry about falling in lava because of this lucky thing and i'm pretty sure not everyone has it so <laughs> i'm uh, i'm in a special select uh group of people who might be able to jump in lava and survive right now which kind of uh which kind of is a little bit sh sneaky but you know what i mean it's not completely cheaty we'll be able to get around with it so if we keep going this way i know for a fact because this is where i fought a little mushroom man once and uh it was horrible what just hit me some more embers they, they at least uh, don't scare me much anymore. <laughs> so around here, this is I think where I found the little mushroom guy, which I'd advise you never punch these mini little mushroom men. Let's check if we can find one. Pretty sure we're standing around here somewhere. Come on, there might be another one. No, that's all right. Uh, but this biome over here, there's this cold nether biome. I don't know what it actually is. Maybe we've, maybe we've got some information on it. Let's check this out. So if we go F3, this is chasm biome. And then right next to it, I don't know if this is the same one, but I've jumped in this stuff. Yeah, this gives us some uh, some cool stuff. So right over here, this is Chasm as well. But if you have a look, when we place down over here, when we go this way and we, we place down lava, it turns to obsidian. And I'm pretty sure I should actually... Actually, does this recreate itself? No, it doesn't. Good, yeah. Okay, fair enough. Uh, so when we do that, it looks like someone actually has been here with the, the stone over here. But basically, what our best bet would be is just to place some of that, break it down with this, and then uh, keep placing it. In fact, can I put this in my offhand? Let's check this out right over there. So if we do that... Break that. Do that. Break that. That's the that's the correct way to be getting obsidian, I think. Well, I mean, obviously, the, the sneaky way with this thing over here is a little bit different. But still, that's probably the best way you're going to have of getting obsidian if you are playing the game in the next few days. It should hopefully be out. Uh, but that that's pretty much just to help you guys out. What my next thing is, the next big thing. I said we got another big thing to do this episode. And that is over here. I think we'll... Yeah, let's be a daredevil. You know what? Let's stand in the middle. We'll stand right in the middle. Here, right here. Use our very last golden carrot. Uh, it froze. We've got... Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> that was instant. That was instant. One of those moments you instantly regret. What the heck? I've got wither from one of those guys. Okay. I think we'll be safe right where we are now. So what we want to do is we want to go here. We're going to want to go and search up. Really? Okay, we're fine. Uh, we want to go search up the uh, jetpacks. And because we've got this one currently, I've had to charge it up once already. There's this hardened jetpack, and there's actually a reinforced one. And I don't think they're too far off of us. Let's see if there's some way we could do it. We need glass, we need this dynamo, and we need some of these things. So obviously these are just some little mini grindy pieces. We can get all of this stuff. We can get that stuff. We can also go ahead and I think over here we, we just need the lead and copper. So very, very simple things. Sulfur we get from pretty much everything we kill. So I think what I want to do is I want to give that a go. Get that up to a hardened jetpack because that's 80,000 RF, which is the, the, obviously the measurement of, uh, of charge. Whereas this one's got 400. I'm pretty sure this is faster as well. And then we can even have a look at maybe if, we, if we're feeling very daring doing that and maybe some particle effects as well. There you are, guys. We did it. Oh, snap. I just dropped that. Where did it go? Oh, snap. What did I do? All right, so we did it guys. We managed. Oh, there I've got it. Thank goodness. All right We've got the reinforced jetpack. I did a lot of stuff here. Let me show you how this works I went through all these things. I got myself the iron armor We got ourselves the in the hardened jetpack with invar which has got all these little things little nitty-gritty pieces in it But we managed to get them all done and now we finally have ourselves the reinforced jetpack which is I think what is that 4,000 versus 80 RF, 80,000 80, RF, so it's a lot more, what's that, probably around 50 times the amount, a lot, either way, and we can really just sit, sit up here for, for ages, look at that, that is great, so we've now got ourselves set up quite good for just moving around, staying alive, not dying very frequently, which I get myself into the habit of very, very well, and besides that, we've also got ourselves a pretty cool looking little piece over here, now that everyone else hopefully hopefully likes a system actually is uh, has seen it and uh, he seems to have liked them these little these little things down here looking quite legit i think i think they look very very cool so for today guys that will be the episode i hope you guys have enjoyed it honestly chisels and bits is an amazing mod i've enjoyed it a lot i think i'm going to use it a lot probably won't do like whole episodes and i think i'll use it to like kind of fix up our builds a little bit make them a little bit more interesting when we get to them actually when we get to the overworld better look forward to those they're going to be great so that will do it for today's episode, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've got something cool from this. I'm sure you have. So thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.